And then someone said, oh, someone else's head. I'm just like, oh my God, how did that happen? Twenty something year old. I, I don't know. She's like probably like early twenties, early twenty something year old college student senior who gets into a DUI. And you know, this video was getting traction on a law and crime. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if law and crime just did a really good job with the title. I wonder if they did a really good job with the thumbnail. I mean, honestly, like in the day that like we we got Uber now, okay? We got Uber. We got Lyft. Like, I, I don't understand. Just call an Uber or Lyft or like, I don't know, call someone else to come pick you up or something like that. It makes no sense. Like, you know, back in the day, people, a lot of people did drunk driving just because they didn't want to call a damn taxi. Okay. They didn't want to deal with the taxi or whatever. But like now it's like at the tip of your finger, you can call an Uber, you can call a Lyft. I don't know. Just don't fucking drink. Get a fucking club soda with a lime or something. You know, you kind of look like you're drinking because some people I know feel really awkward as they're like not participating in the social gathering. Right. So just get a fucking soda and a lime. I don't know. It looks like you're drinking. Come over here with me, man. Okay. I called as soon as this shit happened. I, was I understand. Just like, this doesn't happen to me. I understand. I go to Bradley. Like, why would this happen to me? Okay. Like, initially, I thought she was just being, you know, facetious. And maybe she doesn't really realize the severity of this. But this is my second time watching this. So now I'm listening a little bit more carefully. She's like, yeah, I called as soon as this shit happened. I don't know why this happened to me. Really? Okay. So here's what I'm going to have you do. If you can uh, maybe help Pyro do CPR on that one right now. You tell me, I'm right here. Okay. And then she could kind of hear, right? The cop says, hey, you know, can you please help do CPR on that one right there? Just hang tight right here. Has anybody gotten all your information? No. No you one has. You um, have, someone, your friend took my license. Do you have a driver's license? Your friend took my license. Okay. Uh, I'm, ju I'm just going to write it down here. Okay. Just let you know I got body cameras. Because, like, I'm looking, I'm, like, looking at her demeanor right now. And, you know, I'm looking, I'm reading the title, right? So I'm like, maybe she doesn't realize how bad it is. Then again, before the cops arrive in the scene, you would check to see what you hit, right? Oh, God, I don't know. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Information for okay. Is that okay if I give it to you? What is Stephanie your first name? S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E. -E. Middle initial? Stephanie. Okay, last name? Melgoza, M-E-L-G-O-Z-A. Phone number. It's always okay. about them. Yes. Why did this oh. happen to me? Were you leaving the bar? Were you coming this I down the road? I was coming. I was coming here. Okay. You know, I had just gotten my night started. So. But were you going this direction yes. or this direction? I was coming this direction. Oh. Like, I just had gotten my night started. Like, wow, what an inconvenience for you. I'm so sorry. This is such an inconvenience. Like, you're supposed to have fun tonight. Okay, here's what I'm going to have you do. Um, <laughs> Let's Tell just me. get let's get away from the scene a little bit. Yes. Let them do their thing, okay? This is your car, right? The yes, correct, sir. the red yes, car. Yes. You were the only one in the vehicle. I'm the only one. Okay, come over here to my spot car, okay? Yep. Yeah. Can you take? And she must realize how bad it is because it's not like she got into a wreck with another vehicle. There's no other vehicle there. Hers is the only other vehicle there. She's the only one, and her car is that messed up. Your purse off and just set that on here. We got to. Yep. Do you have anything illegal on you? In your purse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you had any marijuana tonight? No. Okay. Do you set those on the car for me for me? My vape too. Yep. Yep. Okay. Set that down there. And my phone. And your phone. Yes, ma'am. So far, right. cooperating with here. the cops? Put your hands on my car. He's got a pass search before I put you in my car, okay? Okay. No pockets or anything? Oh, no, no. Okay. No All right. Until we figure out how we're going to handle this, I'm going to have you sit uncuffed in the back seat of my car. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you out. We're going to probably do some field sobriety tests and all that. Okay. i got some more questions for you. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm going to have you sit down just so we're out of the roadway, okay? Right That's what I thought, too. Yeah, I was like, wait, where's the other car at? Because the car looks messed up. Thank there you. we go. Are you hurt at all or need or need medics yourself? Uh, no, sir. Because you're in... But yeah, honestly, like, she looks cool, calm, and collected. She seems fine. Does, to me, like, doesn't seem, like, drunk or anything. I don't see any slurring. I don't see any, like, you know, staggering. But, you know, the cops, they're going to do their tests, and uh, we'll see if she passes, Tire, right? I mean, your car's pretty beat up, so I'm making sure. Do you, okay. Are you bleeding anywhere? Um, no, I'm okay. Is that little blood splatter on your hands, from, maybe from your glass? I see you got glass cut all over you. Do I? Okay. I, I think I'm okay. Okay, all right. Okay. Hang tight a minute. Okay, suspect, that's her. She's, yeah, could be in shock. They're probably going to call both of them. So. But, yeah, go check out her. Sorry. It's okay. All right. 
All right, so here's the deal. Just because I, I do have you in the back of a police car, I don't have you in custody or in, under arrest, mm -hmm. but obviously you don't feel like you're free to go right now, right? So I'm just going to read your Miranda rights. You understand what they are, and we're going to talk about what happened on the accident. <laughs> and this is the point where it's like, wait a second, you're reading my Miranda rights? Wait, why are you reading my Miranda rights? I need a lawyer. <laughs> she doesn't know. The cop did it really smoothly. Hey, you're in the backseat of my car, you know. Obviously, you're definitely not free to go, but yeah, I'm just going to read your Miranda rights really quick. Okay, is that cool? Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. So he's going to read the Miranda rights. Okay. I appreciate being cool. I understand this is pretty stressful. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have a right to talk to a lawyer before questioning and have a present with you while you're being questioned. Cannot afford to hire a lawyer. Want to be provided for you before question. Okay, do you understand each of your rights? Which, how do you say your first name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay. That being said, will you talk to me? Explain yes, what happened. I okay. Will talk to you about anything. All right. So explain in detail just what happened prior okay. to the accident. I was coming to full throttle, and I was almost here, as you can see. Were you were I you driving this way or that coming down that coming. side? And this looks like a residential neighborhood, right? Here, this way. Okay. This way. Are those houses? And suddenly, one person walked out in front of me. Okay. Oh, now it's kind of interesting because, like, the way she said one person, it seems like she's kind of emphasizing one person. I don't know. Am I just thinking it? Is it just me? <laughs> and my car got hit. I called. My car got hit. <laughs> one person walked in front of me and my car got hit. Okay. <laughs> you, as soon as they you got hit. You called 911? Yes, called 911. As soon as something happened. Okay. And then someone said, oh, someone else is hit. I'm just like, oh, my God, how did that happen? Oh, my God, how did that happen? So, I mean, obviously, you're going to call 911 because, honestly, though, if it was just her at the scene, I I, I mean, there's a lot of people. Uh, there's some people out there. I don't know if it's a lot of people because I don't actually know that, but there's some people out there that just dips out. But, you know, initially, I was giving her credit for, like, okay, she stayed at the scene. She called 911. But she might have had no choice because, you know, maybe there are other people there that freaking saw it. And they go up to her. They're like, hey, there's actually two people that are, that are hit. And she's like, oh, my God, like two people. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Okay. What so, happened when you hit them? So at this point, I think she knew she hit two people. But it's really weird how she emphasized one person. One person. What happened? I just called you. That's all I know. Okay. I called did, you. Did they fall down right away or did you get out and help them or what happened? I got out. I called you. And then everyone else came out. So I like kind of just let them okay. come and take over the situation. Okay. Um, but I promise you like. Interesting. I wonder if she didn't want to face what happened because she's like, yeah, she let the other people take over. Um. Do you think she didn't want to face it? She was in denial or she didn't care? I only know one person got hit and I'm just like, they came out of nowhere because I am a safe driver. Okay, we're placing a lot of blame on the other person. I get it. Hang on one minute. Just because it's starting to rain here. Okay. Okay. Just so I, um, if you had asked me, how fast were you going when you hit the person? I would say I was going at least at least forty. At least forty. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure forty can do some real damage on a human being. Forty, forty. If you knew you were going forty, and you knew at least one person got hit. You must know how severe it is. I don't think she understands. Ah, 40. You'll be fine. Broken arm. You'll be fine. Like, I don't know. I don't think she, she either doesn't realize it or she doesn't care. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe 40 to 45. But Maybe 45? That's pretty damn fast. At least 40. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you were going too fast for this area at the time with the darkness? I honestly don't think I was going too fast because I try to be precautionary about where I'm at. Okay. Um, but I just know that someone, one person, came out of nowhere. Did you have your headlights on? Yes, sir. Brights on or just regular headlights? Regular. Okay. Okay. So obviously you saw... Man, I wonder... I wonder if she was like on her phone. I wonder if she was like texting and driving, you know, looked down really quick, looked up. Oh, fuck. And that's why she thinks they came out of nowhere. Well, then it was no time to react or time to stop. No time. Or maybe she was driving with no headlights on. Okay. That's the word. Okay. All right. Where were you coming from tonight? I was coming from Tavern uh, 41 on Sterling Avenue. Tavern 31 on Sterling. Tavern 41 on Sterling, yes, Peoria. Sir. 
Okay, and you left the Tavern 41 and drove straight here? Yes, sir. Okay. Over the course of the night, how much have you had to drink? I probably had about three drinks. What's, what's, what is three drinks? Do you like, are we talking? Yeah, so, so far, you know, we're, it seems like she's cooperating. She's open. She's being honest. She drank. She had three drinks. She's even being honest about, you know, what speed she was going. I mean, maybe she was going even faster, right? Who knows? Maybe she was going like 70 miles an hour. But to say that you're going 40, that's pretty, that's still pretty fast. Um, Because when I was watching this, I was like, okay, she's cooperating. Mm, okay. Okay, what type of drinks? Just vodka. Just vodka. vodka. <laughs> but she's being honest. Yep, just straight vodka. You know, some people kind of like, nah, I had beer. You know, beer's 5%. Nah, I just had straight vodka, sir. Vodka or mixed drinks? Uh, vodka and water. So I was staying hydrated, you know, and okay. drinking. Mm-hmm. On it, like uh, right now, if you had me do a test, I think I would pass. Oh, yeah. No, oh, dude, Bruce does have to do a video about this. Because the guy read her the Miranda rights, and he's like, oh, she wants to keep talking to me. Okay, cool. Just like, not, don't test me, but I think I would pass. Okay, I'm going to be honest. We're, we are going to do Don't test me. <laughs> Oh, man. She's a college student, by the way. She's a senior. Here's the thing. Just ha- having a degree sometimes doesn't mean anything. Okay. I don't want to make me you're smart. <laughs> oh, don't know, man. Don't test me, though. But I'm pretty sure I will pass. Then why not test you? Those tests here in a little bit mm-hmm. because of circumstances, obviously, we have to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, how long ago was your last drink, would you say? Uh, my last drink, I would say about 40 minutes. 40 minutes ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you being truthful about that, in your, huh? In the vehicle? Yeah. Or was the last drink at the bar? At the bar. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least drunk you've ever been, 10 being the most drunk you've ever been, where would you say you put yourself right right now? Five. Five. Yeah, it's like she when, <laughs> when she's kind of just sitting there, I'm like, okay, she kind of does like a little drunk. Because I've been very drunk. And right now, like, I see you. I see everyone. Mm-hmm. I know the situation. You know what I mean? You, like, you I know, know the situation. Uh-huh. Of okay. everything. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. close the door. Uh, if mm-hmm. it stops raining, we might do some tests mm-hmm. in the roadway. Otherwise, we might go back to the police station and do it. We'll figure out okay. how we're going to do it, okay? Damn. There, Drunk driving yeah, in the purse, rain your, uh, at night. Already, and that's, that's all we need out of your car, right? Yeah. Okay. Hang tight. All right. I'm going to just run your information. You got a valid license and all that, correct? All right. Stephanie, go ahead and step on out here. Because, like, what would a criminal defense attorney say? Don't talk. Lawyer up immediately. And then probably don't do any of the police testing, right? I know you get, like, automatic, um, I don't know, like, three points in your license or something like that. And you go to, like, auto prison or something. But if you know you're fucked, I think you're supposed to, like, be like, no, I'm, I'm not doing any of these. I'm lowering up or something. For me, we're going to do these uh, quick tests. Yeah, sure. it, it started raining a little bit, but it pretty much okay. let up as long as you're okay with that. Okay. All right, All right, right time here. for the sobriety test. Wait, has anyone in chat done a sobriety test yet? One in chat if you have. I've never done a sobriety test, but there's just one. There's like two tests that I feel like I would probably do horrible at. It's like recite your ABCs backwards, which I don't know if they still do that anymore. And then there's one where like you stand and you like stick your feet out. I'm like, oh, I have bad balancing. I don't know if I could do that. You can just stand here in front of my squad car and face me. Don't do the testing right, says just, every DUI lawyer. Uh, just confirming you said you had approximately how many breaks at the bar. Does she know she already killed two people? Um, so from what she said so far, she says that she knows she hit one. Someone went up to her and said, no, you actually hit two. And she's like, oh, my God, I don't know how that happened. She said that something hit her car, not her car hit something. <laughs> and um, she said that she got at the car, called the police. People came out. And when people came out, they were dealing with the victims. And she kind of just let them deal with it. So... But she did say she was going 40 to 45 miles per hour. She must know that one person is really, really, really messed up. Possibly two, right? Whether or not they're dead, I'm sure deep inside she should know, but maybe not. Okay, all right. Do you have any medical problems? Do you have any problems with your Hey, Brandon. Welcome back for three months. What do you do for work? I waitress at home. So you're on your feet all day? No, all day. No issues with that? Okay. You're overall, you're pretty healthy? Agree? Okay. Sorry, it's Wendy here. So she's a waitress. She's on her feet all day. She's also senior at a uh, university. All right. You see my pen right here? I see your What pen. I want you to do is follow the tip of my pen. I'm going to move my pen back and forth several times. I want you to follow the tip of my pen. Do you want me to, like, walk or just my eyes? No, nope, we're just doing your eyes okay. right now. 
I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes, your eyes only, but keep your head still. I want you to continue that test so I tell you to stop, okay? Okay, sir. You I'm understand? Ready right now. Yes. All right, touch the tip of my pen just so you know where you're There you go. All right. That's what I want. Yeah, I don't know. When she was like all giggly and so I was like, she must not know how bad it is. She must not know. I want you to follow. Nope, keep your head still for me. Oh, my head. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just your eyes. No, oh, she's doing so bad at this. It's hard. All right. Just okay, okay, okay. I'm going to speed through this. Keep their head still for me. It's so hard to keep my head still. No, she can't. Just follow your eyes. <laughs> Are you able to hold your head still without your hands? Okay. All right, fine. just follow your eyes, okay? Fine. Okay. Keep following. Keep looking at the side. Keep, there you go. I see you. Keep looking at the side. Okay, go up. Keep your head straight. Just look up with your eyes. Keep your head tilted down. Oh, sorry. We're going to try it again. Okay. Just look up like you're looking up the sky, okay. but keep your head down. Right. One more time on that, okay? Right. Okay. Come right over here for the next test, okay? All right, what's the next what test? What you do is stand about right here, mm -hmm. face my car. We don't have a line. We're going to pretend there's an invisible line straight for you to my license plate, okay? Can you see my license plate fine? That's the area we're going to choose where we're going to walk towards that, okay? What I want you to do is put your left foot down first. Okay. Now put your right foot in front of your left foot with your right heel touching your left toe just as I'm demonstrating. Right go, heel, go ahead and get in that position for me. Can I show an example? Yeah, I want you to. Oh, okay. Go ahead and tie your shoe for me, okay? Sorry. What I want you, exactly as I'm demonstrating, put your left foot down. Left now put your right foot in front of your left foot, your right heel touching your left toe. Right Stay in that position while I explain the instructions. Do not begin until I tell you to, okay? okay. Hands straight down your side. When I say you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down the line, you're going to turn around and take nine heel to toe steps oh, back, okay? When I say you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down this line, you're going to turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back. What's on your heel? on your turn, I want you to keep your front. <laughs> Did she say, what's a heel? <laughs> huh? Foot on the line, then you're going to use your other foot to turn yourself around with several small steps, okay? Oh my God, this is what it's going to look This is what it's going to look like. This position you're in, when I say go, one, two, three, on down to nine. Keep that front foot on the line. Use your other foot to turn yourself around with several small steps. Nope, stay in that position. Okay. Go back to the same. One, two, three. Yeah, it doesn't look like a completely residential area. It looks like it's like a side road or something. Maybe there are some houses or maybe there's some like little business. And here. on down to nine, okay? Again, I just did three for demonstration purposes. I'm going to have you do nine each way. During this test, make sure you watch your feet at all times. Keep your arms straight down your side. Count out loud so I can hear you. Once you begin the test, do not stop until you have completed the test, okay? Yeah, you understand my instructions? I think so. All right, go ahead and begin the test, okay? Jesus. Yes, ma'am. All right. If you're going to stand right here in front of me for the next test, go ahead and face me. Put both your feet together, arms straight down your side. This is called a one-leg stand test, okay? Whichever leg you choose. Yeah, this is the one where I'd be a little bit, a little bit, well, a little you lift it approximately six inches off the ground with your foot parallel to the ground, holding that position once you count out loud for 30 seconds in a family manner, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on, until you get it 30 seconds or until I tell you to stop, okay? During this test, make sure you watch your race foot at all times. Keep your arms straight down your side. Count out loud so I can hear you. This is what it's going to look like. Position you're in. When I say go, you're going to lift your foot up. 1,000. Like no, ma'am, just as I demonstrated, okay? Like just, up? just as I demonstrated. Did you see my, see my demonstration? Okay, okay, okay. Just like this. Oh, your foot okay, parallel okay, to the ground. Okay, 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 I got it. You understand? Yes, all right, go ahead and begin the test. Yeah, I think at this point, I think, I think she really thinks that she's Gucci. I don't know. I, I think, like, she's like, you know what? I've been really truthful, honest to the cops. I think I'm doing pretty okay on these tasks. I don't know. Like, her demeanor is just like, yeah, I'm, everything's fine. I'm going home after this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep on drinking after this. I'm going to go out and continue partying. She said the night's done. Okay. One, one thousand? Is that what it Drop is? your foot, lift it right back up. Keep going where you left off. Continue the test, okay? Okay. 
right, we'll stop the test right there. Go ahead and stand right here by the front bumper. One last test for you, okay? Just stay right here for me. This is called a PBT test. You ever blown one of these before? No. Okay. Oh, here we you know, go. Do you know legal to drive in Illinois? I do not, sir. Okay, point zero. Point oh eight. Okay. I'm going to have you do is take a deep breath, a long, hard, steady blow in the straw, just like you're blowing up a balloon. There are some states in America that are, um, the legal limit is point zero eight. That's how much, like, alcohol you're allowed to have in your blood. But there are, I think, I feel like California is like a no tolerance state, right? I don't actually know. There are some states that became a no tolerance state where you can't have any percentage of alcohol in your blood at all. I think like Maryland changed from 0.08 to like zero. Or was it DC? What are those pants? <laughs> they're just, they're yoga pants. <laughs> Looks like she's somehow living in an alternate reality. I couldn't do the straight line even sober and the instructions, man. Keep blowing until you hear the machine. Well, you know, he was giving a demonstration. You know, he showed, you know, he was like, here, this is how you do it. Okay. All right. Blow it up away. Yes, ma'am. Take a deep breath. Long, hard, steady blow. Dude, she knows she's far. A little bit harder for me. A little bit harder. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. You're a Bradley student. I graduate in four weeks. You're a point two. She graduates in four weeks. Oh my God, guys, I'm graduating in four weeks. Two, six, four, okay? All right. Wow. Okay, go ahead and turn around for me. Place your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for DUI, okay? Was that like three times the legal limit? All right. His tone alone. Oh, I'm actually, I actually sped it up a little bit. Um, if I think I, if I slow it down, he doesn't sound as mean. Sorry, I'm at 1.5 speed. I'm right over here. Let me sit back in the car, okay? Yeah, the pants aren't really flattering on her. She's pretty, but the pants, yeah, the pants aren't it. I think it's because she's got like a crop hoodie on or something. All right. Okay, so just so we're clear. All right, we're at the police station right now. I'm going to go back to normal speed. I'm going to undo your seatbelt, okay? Oh, sorry. Or I think we're about to head to the police station. There we go. Okay, so you understand what we're going to do? First oh, off, I'm going to let you know the two people. You did hit two people. Total. I did not. You did. I didn't. Okay, so this is the part where I was like, any benefit that I had, like any, I gave her benefit of the doubt. I was like, she didn't know. She didn't know. She didn't know. She didn't know how bad it was. She didn't know how bad it was. She's in, I, I, but then when the top cop tells her, she's like, I did not. No, I did it. I'm just like, no, she's a piece of shit. No, fuck her. She's a piece of shit. There we go. Okay. So you understand what we're going to do? First off, I'm going to let you know the two people. You did hit two people. Total. I did not. You did. I didn't. Okay. I'm just. Okay. Not even like, oh my. Are you, are you serious? I hit two people. Are they okay? Like, not even that. It's just like, no, I didn't. I didn't know. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know. If she thinks that like her not admitting it on the camera is gonna help her in court. Maybe she'd be like, "Yeah, I never admitted to it. There's no way I did it. Something else must have hit them." However you want to word it to yourself, that's fine. Okay, I'm just telling you. There's two people struck by your vehicle, and both mm -hmm. both are dead. I didn't know. Okay. Two people, I tell you right now. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you the two people that hit Why your car. Ma'am, listen. If I. Listen. Two people. Why would I call? That, I don't know if that even makes it even better. If I hit two people, why would I call 911? I would just dip out. Is that what you're trying to say, ma'am? Ma'am? I'm telling you, and they're both deceased on scene. I'm just telling you that information, okay? We're going to go in here. We're going to do the thing. I appreciate you being cooperative so far. I'm just telling I got to tell you what's okay, going on. Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. Come, all right. I'll come on out here this way. All right. All right. Right over here. I think they're at the third. Yeah, they're going to go to the hospital. Treat her Stay like right here and grab all this stuff here. Well, I'm sure there is. Um, once we get in here, we'll tell them they'll probably take it off for you, okay? All right, come follow me. Right, oh, my... is she complaining that the handcuffs are too tight? Is it hurting her? Hi, Leon. Leon, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the tier one. Enjoy your emails and enjoy your badge. Two doors here. Well, your whole front wind windshield is shattered out, so well, that's understandable. Right now, I, I know what I did. I know what I didn't do. Okay. So she said, I know what I did and I know what I didn't do. And it was not two. It was not two. If it was two, I'd be crying. You know what I mean? I'd be like, oh my God, I did this. If it was two, I'd be crying. But she knows for sure she hit one. So why wouldn't you shed tears just for one person? You know you hit one. I'd be like, wow, this thing is hard, but I know what I did. Okay. 
I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to take me to Vegas. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to spend at least $500. <laughs> I'm going to start off with <laughs> two Long Island. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine being in a DUI and then knowing for sure you hit one person and the cop's like, no, you killed two people. And she's over here talking about going to Vegas and she's going to go drink. She's like, I want to get two Long Islands. She doesn't even care. Yes. <laughs> you ever had enough of drinking already? Sorry, I think the audio just got um, boosted. Let me turn it back down. We're talking about Vegas. Oh. There's no limit at Vegas, right? Have you been there? I swear to God, if you're Snapchatting right now and I'm not, <laughs> I'm going to be mad. I'm going to have such a long day tomorrow. Oh, my God. I'm not going to answer anyone's Snapchat. I'm not going to answer any questions. You're going to be like, bruh. I went home for today. And then when she like starts talking to herself, I'm like, okay, wait, is she trying to strategize right now? Is she going to say that she was like mentally insane or something when this happened? She didn't know where she was wrong. Like, I don't know. And I started like questioning people when they realized that like, hey, you know, damn, maybe I'm in a very severe situation. This is the part where I need to figure out how I'm going to get out of this. Do I admit to it? Do I cooperate? Do I try to act like a crazy person so I can plead mentally insane later on? You know, because there are some people that do that, right? <clears throat> Letitia Stelk. Yeah, she blew like 0. 0.26 something. Okay, well, you're being too quiet, so I'm going to start singing because I hate quiet. So, yeah, yeah. You got to figure out all your paperwork. That's why I just said I'm going to start singing. Ooh, ETA has a beam. <laughs> you. You don't even know how I I what I don't know, man. <laughs> Hi Micha, how are you doing today? You think she's doing the Letitia Stalk method? Hi, real house real house knives. <laughs> what a great name. What a great name. Hi Sheeta. Yeah, they're trying to go for 28. <laughs> this must have been so hard for the victim's family to watch. Um, I don't know if they watched the body cam footage, but like if I was a family member of the victims and I had to watch this, this is how she acted after it happened. I don't care how drunk she is. She's not blackout drunk. She was able to talk to the cops cohesively when the cops first interviewed her and stuff like that. She was fine. Yeah, she's drunk as fuck, but damn, she, she knows exactly what happened. But to be dancing around like this, to be laughing, talking about Vegas, talking about, oh, you know, when I go to Vegas, I'm going to get like two Long Islands. I'm going to drink more. Dude, this cop is like, dude, I'm just trying to fill out my paperwork. You, sh you shut up. Toilet wine. Mm. Tomorrow, so how do I get my car? Well, your car is totaled. It's what? Your car is totaled. Totaled? Totaled, totaled wrecked. She's like, so how am I getting to school? I, I need, I have, I have class. She's, she was like flaunting about how she was graduating in like four weeks. Um, after they told her what her, I think like legal limit, or sorry, her, um, what her breathalyzer results were. 
She's like, yeah, I'm like graduating in like four weeks. <laughs> okay, so how do I get to school tomorrow? Dude, you're like out of your mind. She is fucking insane. Okay, so how do I get to school tomorrow? You don't. So, I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. Let me to be honest with you. You're going to jail. You don't have a bond. You killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your yes, car Mr. is property Cop. of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that. Clearly, I've already... You could tell. He was trying to, he was trying to put up with her. But at this point, he's lost it. He's like, I'm not, this, this person, she needs to know what the situation is. Dude, I'm so glad that he goes off on her. The crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that. Clearly, I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Can I have a Tuesday night She doesn't even care doesn't even care did you just hear what i just told you you said i'm not going tomorrow i'm talking about tuesday did you hear when i said you that said you, going to jail tomorrow. Did you you're going to jail right. when we're down here yes did you understand what i told that you killed two people tonight yes i'm just wondering when i can go to school okay we're done No, when the cops first got to the scene, she was talking to them. She's like, hey, you know, I was driving from here. I was at the bar. I had three vodka. She was, ah, oh, man. Some, something, something's like broken. Something's up with her up here. Your own body camera being completely. Or sometimes people are just pieces of shit. Careless about killing two people tonight. You could care less. That's sad and pathetic and horrible all at the same time. Can you say that as a cop? Yes, ma'am, I can. Okay, so can I ask where I can go back to school? So, when can I, like, start eating my professors? And do I say I can go back to school for a while, or what? Can I graduate before we leave? Like, I need to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Girl, bye. Well, you can give me advice at least. I mean, we don't know, right? There are some people out there that are great parents, and sometimes you just have a kid that just turns out very shitty, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. Sometimes you can blame the parents. Sometimes parents just out of their control. She's like in her 20s now. She's like an adult. Like she's she's been out. Uh, she's been an adult for like what? How many years now? Four years now? <laughs> well, to be quite frankly, I'm a I think even like a nine year old, even a nine year old would realize how severe it is. An eight year old. Like, hey, hey, um, little Bobby, I think you killed two people. What? I killed two people. Like even kids know how severe like I, like death is, right? Or like when you tell kids like, oh, you know, your dog died or something. They know how sad it is. They know how fucked up it is, right? Like she ain't eight years old. <laughs> she acts like she's like four years old. Okay, someone died. So when can I play? Can I eat soon? I'm getting really hungry. I'm going to go to Vegas and I'm going to drink more. Is that okay? I need my car back. No, nah, man, you're like 20 something, okay? <laughs> A little more concerned about the two people that are dead right now. To be fair. Oh, is it porno weight in California as well? I wonder which states are the ones that's like no tolerance. Um Zero tolerance law. That's what it is. Oh, was it DC? One oh eight. I don't remember. Just for zero tolerance. Yeah. 
phone or is that the cop's phone? Uh, unless they were in her purse and I took them. I don't think so. Okay, I was like, wait, did they? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they took her purse away, right? Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yep, no problem. Good, we got, I mean, we got the DUI kit done already, or just uh, because she had some glass in her foot, they brought her back. I had a doctor look at her foot, but we're just waiting for the discharge paperwork now. Waiting forever. All right, thank you. Yep. I can't wait to join a DUI club. My coworkers have them. Oh, my God, all of them have them. We're going to be like... <laughs> Listen, listen, she got locked up at a young age, okay? I don't know. This type of person is kind of scary. She kind of scary. Like, yeah, I know she's under the influence of alcohol, but nah, bad. Like, ah, she's kind of scary, man. She locked up for what? What did she get? 14 years or something like that? Oh my God. Thank God they got her while she was young. <laughs> she, she needs a major, major rehabilitation. Come on, dog. You tired? I can just do it. But it's okay. We're taking me to Vegas for my birthday. In two months. That'll be fun. I just can't wait. Party and get in. And I'll see you soon. You don't want that. Yeah, I'm going to get that I wish I wish we had a footage of the sentence thing. I don't think we do. I wish we did. So Yeah, it would have been so satisfying to watch the sentencing. Apparently she cries, she tears up. Uh, we'll, we'll read a little bit into it. Wish we had a video. <laughs> no pumpkin, you're celebrating your birthday, just like your victims. Got her mugshot right there. She's smiling. She got her lashes on. Stephanie Malgoza, 24, Farmington, Illinois, uh, pleaded guilty February 16, 2023. Oh, she pleaded guilty three three months ago. Uh, in killing two Lorraine County residents in a DUI crash in East Pe Peoria in Illinois. Does anyone know where that is? East Pe Peoria? How do you pronounce that? I'm going to zoom in on this. Oh, God. Does that help? Illinois woman who was driving drunk, but she hit and killed a Lorraine County couple as they crossed the street outside a bar in East Peoria, Illinois. Oh, uh, I think uh, what we saw over there was, uh, it w must have been a bar. April 20, 2022. Has been sentenced to 14 years in prison. I wonder, I, I feel like, to me, Honestly, I like the 14 years, okay? But I feel like DUI people, they tend to get, don't they tend to get less, unfortunately? I wonder if she was sentenced to 14 years as a young person. Maybe this is her, like, because I don't know, maybe this is her first, um, maybe she's had a clean record before this, right? But to get 14 years, like, yes. But I feel like DUI people don't usually get 14 years. I feel like they usually get like six years, you know, five years, less than that, unfortunately. But I wonder if she got 14 years because they saw how disgusting she was in the police body cam footage. Stephanie Belgoza, 24, pleaded guilty to aggravated DUI and aggravated reckless driving in Illinois 10th Circuit uh, in February. Judge Tim Kusak sentenced her in this Tazewell County, Illinois courtroom on Thursday, according to multiple media reports. Kusak says, 
I don't believe the sentence will please anyone, but I do believe it is the most just. Um, said, according to a story in the Bradley Scout, the Bradley University student newspaper, that's the school that she was attending, Melgoza admitted to hitting and killing 43-year-old Andrea Roswigs of Avon and 55-year-old Paul Prowant of Avon Lake with her Dodge Dart as they left Full Throttle and Bar Grill and crossed North Main Street. Oh, were they at the same bar? Is this the bar that she mentioned that she was at? And cross North Main Street East uh, in East Peoria after 10 p.m. Melgoza was a senior at Bradley University at the time of the crash. She faced a range of 6 to 28 years in prison. Under Illinois' law, must serve at least 85% of her sentence. So I'm glad. I hope, like, you know, sometimes people get out early for, like, good behavior or something like that. Yes. At least 85% of her sentence. Good. Um, she says, I'm so sorry for everything. I will never ever commit anything like that ever again what a horrible apology i have not drank since that day i do not plan on drinking ever again i want to try something positive to make a difference speak out about this and warn others about the dangers that come with drinking we know about the dangers you don't need to warn people okay it's your dumbass who's just too stupid and you didn't care about other people uh, Kevin Sullivan, male goes as attorney, told blah, 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 that his client had no malice and didn't intend to kill the couple as they crossed the street. Who cares? Don't care about that. Don't care. You're driving drunk. Don't give a shit. As they killed the couple, as she didn't intend to kill the couple as they crossed the street in the area of East Peoria and that it was not well lit. I mean, don't drive drunk. Don't drive like 45 miles an hour. Slow down then. She said she was a safe driver. Peoria? P Peora? I have no idea to pronounce it. Melgoza remained with her damaged car at the scene of the fatal crash, according to media reports. The first East Peoria police officers the scene wrote in their reports that she appeared intoxicated and admitted to having several vodka drinks. Rosa Wick's sister, Sherry Hutchinson, asked the judge to impose the maximum sentence on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, there were no words that can remotely come close to inflicting pain and suffering on you that you have inflicted on me, our families, and Andrea's friends. The magnitude is unimaginable. Yeah, I do feel bad for the victims because uh, they really wanted her to get 28 years. I'm just surprised she even got 14, though. I don't know. I feel like, sadly, like sometimes when I hear about DUI stuff like this, I hear like, oh, you know, killed someone. They get like, four, like I don't know, four to six years or something. I don't know. Uh, the people here today are a small representative of the family and the friends whose lives have been affected since you took them from us. We shouldn't be here today, but for your actions, we are. Everyone makes mistakes, but not to this degree. Cusack said, drunken driving fat fatalities are the easiest fatalities in the U.S. to get rid of. Our system is based on punishment and rehabilitation. We have to balance them, but it's not all about rehabilitation. There's a sentence that is necessary to deter others and that needs to be put out there. Uh, Rosa Wicks was a Parma native who grew up in Seven Hills, graduated from Cleveland State University, Prowant worked for American Bridge Company and was a member of Ironworkers Local 17 in Cleveland, his native city. The Bradley Scout reported that Prowant recently had been promoted to project superintendent with the American Bridge Company and was leading repairs on Peoria's McClugage, uh, there's a lot of words here that I'm butchering, uh, bridge. Bradley University students organized a vigil to honor Rosa Wiggs and Prowant after their dads all. When her fellow students learned Melgoza was going to be allowed to... Wait, what? She was going to be allowed to walk at graduation even after being charged in the fatal crash. They protested. Heck yeah. Don't let her walk with them. Oh my God. She was allowed to accept her diploma, but removed from the list of students permitted to walk at the graduation. The fuck? <laughs> I'll be like, oh, excuse me, I'm graduating. Uh, don't let this bitch here kill my vibe, okay? Don't let her walk with us. Jesus. She clearly has issues since the uh, lack of sense of responsibility, accountability. Should have gotten 30. An extra two years for every minute of her singing. Adrenaline sobers you up. Her adrenaline crashed in the back of the car when she looked like she was falling asleep. He opened the door. I think that's why she seems like she got more drunk. Uh, yikes. Possibly. Because she did say, well, what did she say? She said like she had the last vodka drink maybe like 40 minutes uh, ago and maybe like now her blood system is, I don't know, how long does it take for you to absorb all the, um, how long does it take for you to absorb alcohol when you consume it? Yikes. 
I don't know, man. Horrible. Um, but she got 14 years. Uh, they were going for 28. Um, does this article cover anything? Oh, actually, you know what? I do want to read. I think it was this one that covers what she said, right? Okay. In her final statement. Uh, the judge says, what does my sentence, what does my sentence to prison do if no one remembers their names? We need to get the word out. The judge says, Mel Goza, um, Stephanie, the woman that DUI person tearfully turned. Oh gosh. She turned to the families of Andrea Rosovic and of, uh, Avon, Ohio and Paul Prowent, Prowent of Seattle repeatedly said she was sorry. She vowed to live with the deaths for the rest of her life. And she said she hoped to turn something positive out of this tragedy. I don't know. If that's like really honestly, like I wouldn't even say that. Hey, I'm going to make something positive out of this. I, I wouldn't even say that. She says, I never meant to hurt anybody. Don't matter. I'm so sorry for the pain that I've caused. They probably saw the body cam footage. I will never forget them. And I will live with this every day. Yep. You sure will. She said during the final statement before her sentence was imposed, Mel goes 24 entered a blind plea. Oh, I wonder if she cried. Tearfully turned. Okay. So I guess, yeah, she cried. Mel Gilza entered a blind plea, uh, one without any agreement to two counts of aggravated DUI and two counts of aggravated reckless driving. Man, I wonder if her defense was like, you know what? The judge might go easy on you. You're a student, you're young, maybe have no priors. And then they didn't expect that she was going to get 14 years. Oh, God. This Lori chick is insane. Hi, Schindler's Fist. On April 10, Mel Gilza's car struck Rosovics and Prowin. Both are pronounced dead at the scene after being struck on the North Main Street around 10, 15 p.m. that night. Family members of Rosa Wicks and Prown chastised Mel Gozo, saying it was her decision and hers alone to drink and drive that night. They wanted the maximum of 28 years behind bars for her, saying it was necessary to protect the public. Yeah, that's right, because she's like, what, 24 right now? She's 24 right now, and she only needs to serve, like, I don't know, she might get, like, let's say 10 years. She'll be out by, she's like, 34. Oof, yeah, that was a little scary. It's 34. They held up pictures of Mel Goza and Cusack to see, reminded everyone of the human cause of the accident. Lives were forever changed, they said. Smiles were gone. Celebrations were different, and Mel Goza, they said, was to blame. For his part, defense attorney Kevin Sullivan noted his client was remorseful and thought about the crash and the victims daily. He said that it was her, it was her to call 911 and that she has been cooperative ever since. Mel Goza, he said, wanted to pay it forward by trying to use her story to prevent others from making the same mistake. Oh my God. She really could become the poster child or a poster person for what not to do. And who better to have that come from her than she who's experienced just this. No, we're good. We don't need her. Court records indicate in East Peoria, a police officer noted Malgoza's Dodge Dart with heavy front end damage. Malgoza reportedly has slurred speech, red watery eyes, there's a strong odor of alcohol as well. A probable cause statement filed in court when she was charged and Dede Magoza admitted to police that she was driving about 40 miles per hour in, oh, it was a 30 miles per hour zone and struck a person. When they looked into the dart, officers found a small bag of marijuana, a hitter pipe, and it opened. Oh my God, dude, she had an open bottle of vodka. Oh my God, wait, was she, I wonder if she was drinking it while she was driving. Not just like, oh, drinking it at the bar, but I wonder if she was like also like sipping it when she was like, oh my fucking God. Mogosa failed to feel sobriety test was arrested at the scene, according to court records. Aggravated DUI carries a mandatory prison up to three. See, I'm saying right here, three to 14 years. I was like saying, man, sometimes people, when they get a DUI, sometimes they only serve like not that much, okay? For taking a life, not that much. Given that two people were killed, Malgoza faced up to 28 years behind the bars. She must serve at least 85% of any sentence imposed. Cusack could have imposed a term of probation, but Malgoza, a 2022 Bradley University graduate, had to have shown extraordinary circumstances why she should not go to prison. That's different from most crimes as the burden is on Malgoza to show why she should get probation. Melgoza was given credit for four months she spent in home confinement. What? Home confinement? <laughs> Easy peasy, man. Did she have access to internet? As well as two days already spent in custody. 
With that, the requirement was that she must serve at least 85% of her sentence. Yeah, she could get out of prison 11 and a half years. Okay, I said 10 years. Same thing. 10 years, 11 and a half years. I don't know. Same thing. <laughs> Jesus. She was partying in the car. Probably was. I thought you were reading about a case in the UK nurse serial killer, but uh, oh, you read the name wrong. Wait, what? UK nurse serial killer? Oh, gosh. Is it one of those nurses who were like tampering with like the IV bags or something like that? I watched a TV show recently called The um, the Good Nurse. Oh, no, it wasn't a TV show. It's a movie. Sorry. Uh, the Good Nurse with uh, Jessica Chastain, I think. And uh, the guy that played uh, in The Danish Girl. Yeah, the Netflix movie. It was a really good movie. It was really sad. Does aggravated DUI means you killed someone or is it that you're just really drunk? Um, DUI just means, I think it means you're drunk. Aggravated must mean that like, yeah, you hurt or killed someone. 